Hey you, I know you've been in that same situation before and you had something interesting to read and suddenly, you know, you wanted to continue on the PC. And, uh, well, you can do it with a join and, you know, the procedure, press here, share, blah, blah, blah. But you can do it much easier. Uh, you can just press the fingers, fingerprint reader and uh, it goes from here to there. So, and it doesn't tie your fingerprint reader to one action either. You can uh, use it for Chrome. You can do it uh, and share some information from um, YouTube. Or you can link it to your location as well. So I'm gonna show you how to use a fingerprint reader uh, and how to assign multiple ta uh, task actions to it. So you could use it in a certain conditions, making pretty much sure that reading content aware. All right, let's go. And notification bar and click on accept. That will take you back to the app selection and select the tasker. You will see that uh, the available field has been filled in and all you have to do is pick the address. In addition to that, uh, I also assign a new variable name and I'm going to use address as my local variable name which is going to store this URL. Now to capture this address and keep it in specific format, I'm going to use a little bit complicated regex to make sure I'm going to get the value I need. And this is later is going to be used to be formatted using a search replace. If you want that uh, regex, uh, just see the link in the description for the article and it will provide you with a full regex. Why am I doing this? Uh, this is basically because join uh, push URL requires you to have HTTPS in front of it and not all the websites do have it. So in variable search I, I replace, I'm using these actions to check if the HTTP and, and HTTPS is present and I'm going to remove it later. I'm going to also preset a variable, a prefix with HTTP and use it uh, in the URL push. This way, if the HTTP is not present, it will use default HTTP and if a website requires HTTPS, it will uh, put HTTPS in the prefix. For this profile to work, your address has to be visible in the website. If you go full screen, it won't work. And also sometimes you have to just click to enable the fingerprint reader from the drop down menu above. Thanks for watching guys. Links to everything uh, are in the description of this video. So you'll find the write-up, profile files and the descriptions of the task itself. And now enjoy the bloopers. So yeah, I've got the most interesting website. It's mine, obviously. And you can do a simple this. And within a few seconds you have it on the screen. And why doesn't it work? This is uh, how you can do it with a single fingerprint action. Oh, come on. Right. Uh, now it works.